guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to another workout with me. Today we'll be working the lower body, which will include the major muscle groups, the glutes, quads, hamstrings, and calves. As always, please consult a physician before starting any new exercise program. Today, the only equipment we'll be needing are resistance bands. I have a light and a medium. You guys can use whatever you need for your preference. We'll also be starting out with a chair. This is gonna help us learn proper squat form. So grab a chair, grab your mini bands and your yoga mat, and let's get started. Start by sitting on your chair with your butt more towards the front of the chair. Feet are gonna be hip width apart, which means they're in line with our hip bones. Knees are gonna be at 90 degrees over the ankles, and this is our starting position. I want you to put your hands out in front we're going to come to standing and we're squeezing our glutes to do so. Sitting back down and standing back up. Squeezing all through our posterior chain. Good. So what this is helping us to do is understand our hip mobility here. We want our hips to come back, back, back while still keeping our chest and head upright and standing back up. We also need to engage our core here to keep our balance and not tip forward. So we're leaning back into our chair and come to standing. Good, let's do three more of these. Really practice squeezing your core and your glutes, leaning back into your chair while I'm still staying upright. Last one. Good, nice job. If you feel comfortable, we're gonna get rid of the chair. If you still need a little bit more practice, go ahead and keep the chair nearby. I'm going to place the both mini bands, I have a medium and a light, above my knees, as even as possible. They get a little sticky, but their placement's not that important. So we're gonna start with our feet a little closer than hip width, okay? And we're gonna do our squat just as we did in our chair. As we sit back, it's now imaginary chair. Imagine you're going to sit back in your chair. And we're squeezing the glutes to come back up. Good. We've got four more. Squeezing the glutes. Good. Now, other things that I'm looking for here are my knees. I'm not shooting them forward. They want to stay as close to above the ankles as possible. Excellent. Step your feet a little wider than hip width now, and we're going to continue. Now, my knees are going to have to shift with my ankles, right? Because knees stay over ankles. So I'm pressing against the band to keep my knees over the ankles while still sitting back in my chair. Good. Squeezing the glutes, watching the knees. Good, it should feel nice and comfortable. If your knees are cracking or if you have any sort of knee pain, I want you to do this without the bands. You can also still utilize your chair to practice sitting back, squeezing the glutes, because that's the most important part. Good, two more. Excellent. Now that we've got the basics down for our two different variations of squats, we're gonna go ahead and repeat. So step your feet closer together than hip width, I'm going to face this way so you can see what my posterior chain is doing and how my spine aligns. So feet are a little closer than my hip bones. I'm going to sit back into my imaginary chair, squeezing the glutes, core, and a little quads here as well. Come to standing. Nice job. Sitting back and squeeze. Good. Here we go. Keeping in mind our knees are directly over our ankles as much as possible, okay? I'm going to show you one very bad squat form. This is what I don't want you to do, okay? Is to fall forward and have the weight on our toes, okay? We want to keep our weight shifted back in our heels. If you need to keep your toes light and loose to help keep the weight on your heels, do so. Good. Three more. Two. Last one. Good. Now remember, we're going to step the feet wider than hip width, okay? Stepping the feet out and continue. 
Here we go, sitting back in our imaginary chair. Now we are pressing with the quads to keep the knees out with the ankles because we're working against the resistance bands here. Remember, if you have any knee problems, any injuries, and this is bothersome, I want you to use the chair, take the bands off, and stay with me. Good, squeezing the glutes, checking your knees, keeping the weight in the back, two, last one, excellent, nice job. Go ahead and slip the bands off. Now I'm going to teach you how to properly lunge. So, from the side view, when we lunge, we want to stay as upright as possible, and it's going to be a downward hinge movement, as if I have a string holding me upright all the way through my feet. Okay, lower down and up. Many people think a lunge is a forward movement. It's actually up and down. So, hands on my hips. We're just going to stay in place here. I want you to focus on this back knee. It's just going to lower down and squeeze back up. The muscles I'm using to protect all my joints, I have my glutes engaged, I'm squeezing my quads, and this helps me stay out of my knee joint. So looking ahead, squeeze, and most importantly, what are we always squeezing? That's right, the core. Here we go. Good. So I'm squeezing and coming back up. This knee, front knee, directly over the ankle, it is not shearing forward. No, no, no. We are up and down. Two more. Last one. Excellent. And switch legs. So, lunging forward here. And I'm going to bend both knees. Lower down. And back up. Good. Squeezing the back glute. Little quad here to stay out of my knees. And I'm going up and down. Just like an elevator. Good. Squeezing those muscles. Check in with your core. Staying upright. Good. If you feel this in your knees, I want you to step back. Reset. Okay? Take a step forward here. Don't go down as far. My back knee is not touching the ground. Yours should not be either. So we're bending and pulling back up. I'm pulling and pushing mainly with this back glute here. It's doing most of the work. It should be engaged at all times. Good. Two more. Last one. Excellent. Nice job. Lower down onto the mat in a tabletop position. That means my knees are directly under my hips, shoulders in line with my wrists. And we're going to do a series of glute exercises that are really going to help burn out the muscle. This is really helpful if you have um, a hard time getting into your glutes when doing squats and stuff. Like when I say squeeze your butt, you're like, I don't know what that means. So this is really going to help you target your glutes. Um, lift your leg up, and we're just going to pulse it here. Okay? So I'm using my core to help myself balance. And what we're feeling is this glute right here just kind of fire up every time we lift the heel to the ceiling. Okay? So I'm just thinking about making a footprint onto the ceiling. Just like a little dirty footprint. Good. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, I'm already feeling it. Switch your legs and place that footprint on the ceiling. It's just a small movement. It's almost like a little bit of a hip hinge, but I'm focusing on squeezing the big muscle called your butt. Three, two, one. Good job. Take your leg you worked first, and we're going to do a little leg sweep. So I'm just going to sweep it out to the side. If you're not that flexible, you're just going to stay within your range. Okay? So I'm just sweeping, and I'm trying to keep that leg in line with my hip. Okay? So I'm not here. I'm not down here dragging it on the floor. I'm going to try to stay in line with my hip. Okay? The muscles that we're working here are, we've got quads, okay, these muscles here, still my glute, because I'm keeping the leg up, and I'm getting into my obliques a little bit, which is always a good thing. Good. 
nice and slow and controlled. Three, two, and one. Good. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Lift it up, squeeze in the glute, and sweep. Good. I'm using my glute to not only hold it out, but I'm using my glute to squeeze it back in. So my muscles are working the whole time. Sweep and bring it back. Sweep, bring it back. I'm also using my core to help me stabilize so I'm not swinging around. Okay, this is very controlled. Good. Three. Nice and slow. Two. And one. Great job. Back to those donkey kicks, okay? Leg we first started working. Lift it up and pulse. Good. Now we're really starting to feel it. You're also feeling it in your hamstring, which is that little curve under your butt, your back thigh. Okay? Glutes and hamstrings really fired up here. Three, two, one, and switch. Here we go. Stay with me. Good. Make that footprint on the ceiling. Squeezing your butt. Good. Here we go. Keep that core nice and tight as always. Three, two, one. Good. Here we go. Keep that leg out. Let's sweep. Good. Sweep. Excellent. Another reminder, if you have if, uh, issues with your knees, you can always use a pillow or some knee pads under your knees. If it's getting a little too wristy for you, we can drop down to our forearms. Not a problem. Here I am. Good. Couple more sweeps, keep it controlled. Last two, last one, good. Let's switch our leg, here we go. Last set of sweeps, good. You may be wondering why your other leg is burning too, the one that's not working. It's because A, it just worked, and B, it's helping stabilize. So. Your body is actually working even when it's resting. Good. Sweep three, two, last one. Excellent. Guys, bring it down to a child's pose here. Stretch it out. Nice job. Okay, guys, grab your set of mini bands. You can stay with one light, one medium, or both, which is a little lighter than heavy. And you're going to place them just above the knee again. I'm going to lay down my elbow under my shoulder. This is kind of like a tripod here. And my knees are bent. I'm going to try and keep like a 90 degree angle here between my hips, knees, and ankles. Feet are directly over each other. And I'm just going to lay here. This is actually a very relaxing exercise until we start feeling it in our glutes. So from here, you're going to keep the feet stacked, okay, and I'm just going to lift at the knee and back down. Lift and lower, keeping tension throughout the whole movement. I'm never going to rest the knee back down. Okay, this is going to take a couple to understand where we're feeling it, but we're feeling it right here in our side glute, okay? So I'm keeping the feet together. I'm not lifting at the feet. All right, I'm feeling it, guys. How are you? So we're lifting and lowering, resisting the band. Okay, this should not be felt in your knee at all. It is entirely glute work. We've got three, two, and one. Good, I'm gonna roll over so you can see from the posterior side as we switch legs what's happening in the back. So other side, I'm going to stay stacked just as I was, okay, checking in with my upper body, making sure my core is tight, feet are stacked, and I'm going to lift and lower, lift and lower. Good. After a couple, you'll feel it right in here. Good. Remember, keeping constant 
tension with the bands. That's important. That's what's really going to help trigger the glute here. Never resting the knee, getting as much range as you can. And yeah, you'll feel a little bit in your quads. Lift and lower. Good. It's starting to fire up. How's yours? Good. We've got three, two, and one. Nice job. Don't take those bands off yet. I want you to position yourself on your backside. And let me tell you, if you've got dogs, dog hair is going to be all over your bands. Okay. Laying back down in a bridge. So my head is flat, my spine is flat, my knees are bent, and my feet are flat on the mat. Hands are down by my side. My feet are going to be about a grapefruit distance apart, okay? I'm going to squeeze my glutes like we practiced for our, um, when we were making our footprints on the ceiling. Squeeze your glutes and begin to lift the hips off the mat. Okay, what I'm checking for here is that my knees and stomach are all the way in line to my shoulders. I'm squeezing my abs and my glutes here. You should not feel this in your knees. If you do, lower back down and check yourself. Are you squeezing your knees? Because then you're going to feel it there. I need you to squeeze your glutes and your abs, okay? So squeezing the glutes, I'm tucking the pelvis, lifting the hips off the mat, okay? And I'm using the base of my shoulder blades as, like, as stability. Good. Squeezing here, lower back down. Barely touch, squeeze, lift back up, and lower down. This is a bridge. It's really good for the spine, working your glutes. Good. Squeeze and hold, lower back down, two, Last one, squeeze, lower back down, good. Now I'm going to give you an advanced move, which is going to be to lift one leg off the mat. If you're not there yet, you're going to keep both feet on the mat and do five more bridges. Lifting the leg up, we're going to squeeze the glutes, lift up, lower back down. What's that you feel? That's your hamstring, okay? The back of the leg here. You're going to feel that 10 times more here in a single leg. Lower back down. Good. Lift. Squeeze. Lower down. Good. Squeeze. Up. And squeeze to lower. Last one. Oh, yeah. Nice job. We're not done yet. Go ahead and switch. Lift up. And lower down. Good. Not only is this a really good exercise for your glutes and hamstrings, but adding the bands to it just always adds an extra little bit resistant element. Good. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Don't take those bands off yet. We've got 10 more clams each side, okay? Laying down here. Oh yeah, this is called a clam because it's like, hello, here's the pearl. And goodbye. Open and close. Good. Nice job. Keeping my feet stacked over one another. Remember, they're not lifting. Good. Our glutes should be so fired up, you guys. Seriously. This is burning, but you know what? You can do it. So stay with me. Here we go. Good. Three. Woo! Two. Last one. Nice job. Flip over. Here we go. These are our last exercises here for this series, okay? So stay with me. You can do it. If you need to take a band off, maybe you started with two. Bring it down to one medium or one light. That's okay. Everyone's at a different point, and there is an exercise for everybody at every level. Good. Stay with me. I know. I'm on fire, too. Three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job. Thank you guys for joining me today on another workout. Today we worked on the glutes, quads, hamstrings, and calves, focusing primarily on the lower body. 
I hope you enjoyed it and your glutes are as on fire as mine are and I'll see you guys next time.